Hello spiritual individuals and welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Trixie and in today's video we're going to be discussing the 8 different ways in which we can meditate. So without further ado, grab a cup of your favourite drink and relax. Alright, so we've actually got 8 different types of meditations that we can do and we'll start off with the most traditional way of meditating which is basically sitting cross-legged, closing your eyes and then somehow quieting the mind and not thinking about the little monkey clapping its hands with the tin hats from the drum kit. That is until your knees or joints lock up and you fall asleep. So it doesn't really sound very appealing does it? <laughs> Especially to beginners who think that meditation is all about not thinking about anything or trying to make the mind completely silent which it's not impossible, but it is actually quite difficult to do, especially in the beginning. But meditation is actually all about quieting the mind. It's all about getting your thoughts to one singular thought, so you don't have any of the clatter and chit-chat in your head, and you just focus on one thing at a time. And this bamboo keeps attacking me. <laughs> it told you to stay tucked behind. It's gonna play back. This is the only position that I could find in the garden that was actually well suited for the area. See, it's moving again. <laughs> it's like, no, I want to sit back where I was. <laughs> I love this garden. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. Anyway, yes, <laughs> continuing on. Meditation is all about basically quieting the mind and trying to get your thoughts into one singular thought. So it's essentially like looking into rippling water. When you want to look at the image that's reflected back at the water, you can't see it very clearly if the water is rippling. And it's basically a metaphor for the mind, i.e. when the mind is clouded and full of thoughts, you can't focus on the thought that you actually want to, uh, well, want to access, which is what meditation is all about. And it can help with centering, grounding, directing energy, all sorts of things like that. It can also just calm you down and put you into a state of mind which can help you manifest things and visualize things etc. So the whole point of this video is to basically say that that traditional way of meditation isn't the only way of meditating and thank goodness for that because I tried that and as I said before my knees started to lock up and get really achy I got bored and I was <laughs> falling asleep and then eventually I just couldn't focus on what I wanted to which is you know trying to get my thoughts down into a singular point which is why I went into mantras and using my mala beads and all of that. I also do want to quickly apologize if you hear of this DIY session in the background. I finally picked a day where I could find enough sunlight where I could go out and it wasn't too windy and all of that and now I've got <laughs> the world and its wife out today so yeah it's a little bit annoying but just gonna have to deal with it I'm afraid because <laughs> I need some sunlight <laughs> I haven't been out in a very long time and for the first time in this year we've had degrees going above 25 degrees celsius that's Celsius though, not Fahrenheit. I don't know what that would be in Fahrenheit to be honest. But yes, it's finally a nice warm day where I can go outside. And speaking of going outside, going for a walk and connecting with nature is actually a way of meditating. You can quite literally just go around your garden or a place in nature, open up your senses, connect with the birds and the animals around you. You can even go into gardening and things like that or something in particular that I like doing as well as gardening is birding. That's basically bird watching and discovering all the birds in your local area which is such a nice thing to do. But you can literally just go around and connect with your senses and enjoy the sights. It, that is actually a way of meditating because you're not focusing on anything else but what you're doing which is opening up your senses, you know, what can you see, smell, hear, touch. I'm not sure about the taste part, I don't really want to be going around licking plants but you know, to each his own. <laughs> 
but it is definitely something that I loved to do. Now our third way of meditating is actually guided meditation. So this is essentially going online and picking 10 to 15 minutes, you can also get 20 minute videos of guided meditation. So it has a voice in the background which tells you how to focus on your breathing and what to visualise and things like that. They're really helpful, especially in the beginning. Although I do know that some people have difficulty in visualising things, so I'd suggest actually drawing out stuff and feeling the energy or something similar to that, you know, something along those lines. Because sometimes as well, like for example, when I'm really tired, I can't visualise things. I just I can't picture something in my mind because I'm, I'm too tired or I just simply can't do it because I'm not in the mood. So. I tend to draw stuff out and just feel the energy from that drawing. So in particular, for, for example, if you wanted to connect with your chakra points, you could draw out, is it seven? Yeah, seven circles, I was about to say eight, I don't know why. You can draw out seven circles in the colours of the rainbow, so the root would be red and then it goes orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. <laughs> and you can colour them in, you can decorate them, you can basically just picture them how you want them to look like without having to visualise it in your mind's eye. But there's plenty of videos online that you can access with a person talking in the background. I do find actually though that the breathing part of the meditation kind of makes me a bit lightheaded and then short of breath because I then start manually breathing rather than just letting my breath come naturally. So <laughs> that doesn't really work too much for me. but. The rest of it is fine, so I tend to ignore that breathing part at the beginning and then just continue on actually doing the exercise. The next way on meditating is crystal meditation and this is one of my absolute favourite ways of meditating because you can simply carry around a crystal of any colour or choice, shape, etc. You can carry it around with you, you can study its shape and its colour, the way it looks like, the way it sparkles. <laughs> I love crystals and in fact I'm going to be doing a crystal tour soon where I will show you all of the rocks and stones that I've collected as well because I'm a bit of a collector. <laughs> I just I love going around the garden and just picking up rocks and looking at the way they shine, especially flint, I think it's called. And that is actually a way of meditating. You just go rock finding, which is part of the going for a walk meditation and actually crystal meditation too, so it's both in one. You can also have crystals associated with your chakra points. So you could place something like a, a red jasper, for example, on your root chakra and then different colours associated with different chakras and meditate that way. That often involves lying down because if you're balancing stones on you, it'd probably be better to lie down, otherwise, uh, well, they can't stay because of gravity, so <laughs> they would end up falling. The next way of meditating, or our fifth way of meditating, is simply just being in silence, you know, just enjoying the silence as the song goes and if you can do that at night particularly when everything is much more quieter that helps as well or if you do it in candlelight that's really nice as well i like using my electric candles for example before i go to bed and just studying the candle and enjoying the silence things like that but literally just sitting in silence it is actually quite therapeutic it, and it is a way of meditating because you're quieting the mind and that's the whole point of meditation is to quiet the mind. It's not about getting rid of thoughts entirely, just focusing on one thought at a time. Number six of our ways of meditating, and the bamboo is now getting closer and closer to me, <laughs> is simply musical meditation actually. So you can go online and listen to some lovely ASMR relaxation meditation videos ones where you get forest sounds or the fire crackling or the rain, really lovely things like that. You can also listen to singing bowls, chimes, some shamanic drumming as well. These are all different types of sound meditation. It's really quite lovely. And even singing your favourite song as well, that can be a form of meditation because you're only focusing on one thing and that is the song itself. So singing your favourite song and just simply focusing on only that that's a really good way of meditating. <laughs> I think also mantras would be in the same category as musical meditation as well because you're effectively chanting or singing the mantras. So yeah, I think that would be in the musical meditation 
as well. Number seven of our way of meditating is simply just living in the moment. You know, if you've got a cup of tea in front of you or a cup of coffee, you know, a cup of your favourite drink, it, just literally enjoying your favourite drink and living in the moment is actually a way of meditating. It's mostly about living in the present and not focusing about the future or the past, you know, worrying about anything. Just focus on simply doing the task in hand, which, you know, could be drinking a cup of your favourite drink or reading or anything like that. That was actually a bit of a, a short one as well to talk about, but it, it is a really good way of meditating and it it's kind of a combination between the last type of meditation which I'm about to go on to and also the silent meditation as well because sometimes living in the moment can be just sitting in silence. And then lastly number eight of our ways of meditating would be quiet hobbies. Now I actually have a list here so I'm just going to quickly grab it. <laughs> my, my script is essentially in the trees because I have no table here. <laughs> But yes, quiet hobbies, they include things like painting, drawing, writing, gardening, knitting, sewing, crocheting, yeah, things right, cooking, puzzle solving, reading, birding, and photography, and also kind of videography as well. I was about to mispronounce that. <laughs> but yes, all of these would be classed as quiet hobbies, and the reason why these can be a way of meditating is simply because you're focusing on doing that quiet hobby uh, rather than thinking about other things and worrying about the past and present and again this is what meditation is all about it's all about quieting the mind trying to relax and that's actually what i say at the beginning of every video <laughs> and i know sometimes the word relax can also trigger a few things like sometimes it can come across as really annoying but it, it is actually meant in a, a nice genuine way in that literally you can live longer if you just relax and leave things up to the universe and stop trying to control the outcome basically which is something that I'm really struggling with but yeah it's meditation literally you just gotta remember it's quieting the mind not trying to think of nothing at all because I wouldn't class that as impossible because it, it can actually be done but it's difficult to do. It, it takes probably years of meditation practice to achieve something like that. Anyway, that's everything that I have for you today. So I hope these ways of meditating help you in your magical practice or just simply in your daily life routine because meditation does have its perks. It can help and it can help with centering, grounding, manifestation, visualization, directing energy, loads of things and one in particular way that I like to meditate is to go around in the garden and just have a little walk around doing some gardening doing some birding and maybe even carrying a crystal or two with me as well I really love sound meditation as well I love listening to drumming or lovely forest sounds or the rain I really love the rain and thunderstorms as well with a beautiful fire crackling it's just magnifique so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely magical day and bye for now.